Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we finally get to play the GTA game that I loved as a child. My personal favorite. Over the last couple of months, we've played almost just about all of them. Except with the exception of like one or two. But pretty much we've played a lot of the Grand Theft Auto games over the last couple of months to where you're here on the channel. For those of you that played it during its prime, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably love it just as much as I do. For those of you that have never played it, Please give it a chance, watch the videos if you want, and you'll see why at the end, why this game is so special. Personally, what I loved about this game the most was just the overall theme. It was in the 80s, the whole kind of Scarface feel to it. At the end, you get like this crazy mansion that's very Scarface-like. The whole, you know, Vice City era during uh, the 80s in Miami. So, I'm from Miami. This game is based in Miami. Some of the parts look similar. Obviously not exactly because this game is really old. So, you know, things are a little bit off. But overall, the game is fantastic. GTA Vice City's probably got one of the best just overall group of voice actors out of all the GTA games. It is absolutely insane. I don't want to spend too much time. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. I'm going to do one episode. I would really love to do a full series. But let's see how this episode does. If you guys want it to be a series here on the channel, all you guys got to do is drop it a like. And, uh, dude, I'm nervous. I haven't played this game since I was in the fifth grade. I am 29 years old now. So it is very, very old. And uh, I'm playing it because I don't remember a whole lot of it. So I just want to relive it. <laughs> and I'm excited. All right. Let's do this. Tommy Vassetti. <laughs> Shit. Didn't they, they never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? Treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Uh, Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vicetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few. Dude, this then game. We go down. <laughs> Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Ah, oh, everything about this game, dude. The music, even if I don't get in trouble with the music, I'll leave the music. If I do, I might have to turn it down or turn it off. But I'm gonna try my best to leave the music. Hey, hey, guys! It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great. Hey, well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Oh, my God. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. <laughs> we got the, the, look at these guys in the back. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Oh my God, dude, it's been so got long. It? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Come on, get out of here! Bro. This game is so good, bro. I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. <sighs> oh 
All right, so just so you guys have an idea, an understanding, I had to put the frame limiter on, which pretty much means that it caps the game at 30 frames. If I take it off, the game runs at like 800 frames and it can literally fry the CPU. So it's not optimized to be running above 30 frames unless you like download mods and stuff, which I don't want to do because I just built the PC and I don't want to risk any viruses or anything like that. So the game will be running at 30 frames. I could make it run at like really smooth, but it also does make the game crash and really slow loading screens and stuff like that. So I hope you guys don't mind. Okay. Besides, this we, we played San Andreas at 30 anyways. So what the hell? That one's hot like leather seats on a hundred degree day. <laughs> oh shit. I love this game, dude. It's it's just makes me like it gets me in a happy mood because it's the environment in general. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather wind. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. Oh my More god. Update soon. Shit, I'm so pumped, dude. Stopping the pink marker. You walk through the front door of the Ocean View Hotel to enter the building. Okay. I really hope this game doesn't crash on me. When not on a mission, you can save your progress by collecting the cassette tape. Walk into the pink marker to continue. Okay, I'm gonna go to the cassette tape. We're gonna save the game now. If I were to download this on the PS4, it obviously gives you the same version of like the PS2 version or whatnot, and then you don't really have the 60 frames either. So I thought, let's just play it. Like if we were playing it on the PS4, the only thing is we get much better quality. Like the textures and stuff are a little bit more refined because on computer. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? Mm. You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I <laughs> don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Let's go. To find the lawyer's office, follow the L on the bleep. All right, let's uh, set over the lawyer. It's been a long, long time. Actually, hold on. We got a nice little car right here. What is this? Hold on. Nicely parked here in the beach. This is uh, this is awesome, dude. Oh hell yeah, we've got ourselves a banshee. Except the crystal. Listen, there's amazing mods for this game that make it look fantastic, but I really didn't want to risk it. I think I just passed the freaking turn there. Hi, I'm BJ Smith, football player, businessman, and father of 18 adorable kids. Throughout my career, my company so full of sorrows and hatred, I couldn't feel pain. Shoot, I even break my own leg to They made me play when I was ill or injured. And this that is a fucking GTA right here, bro. All right. We're here. Right at the L. Right where we started. A party. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. 
That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. <laughs> Alright, so get some new threads at Raphael's clothes shop. Alright, follow the t-shirt bleep on the map. Let's... You know what? I'm gonna go for the scooter, man. I like this little... You know what I got? Damn! <laughs> oh, this game is awesome. Florida does not want you. Please, die somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? We want a river. We need a river. The Freedom River. And what about the other crimes? It seems this is just like crime. the beach, man. This is crazy. Like for the time, it, it, it was made really, really similar. Oh snap! Looking spicy. Now there's not a lot of customizations in this game, you know. There's not like uh, can't customize the outfits or all that stuff. Bike. Sorry, loser. The bike is now mine. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna try and leave the music on just so we can. Oh, freaking hell! Just so we can get the vibe of the game. Uh, but I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get striked or not. Hopefully, we don't. I'm, can I change the station? I don't feel too comfortable with this music on. Okay, we're just gonna keep on rolling then. <laughs> I think we gotta go in through here anyways. Yeah, it was right through here. Gotta try and limit the time with those bikes. And that music in the background, you just never know. A party. Murder, sweetheart. Buenas noches. Oh, I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of uh, agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. <laughs> anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? <laughs> no? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... Risk. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? It's silent. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Man, Steve the 80s Scott. All throws a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, the nada, amigo. How do we find you? <coughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. 
A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz, he's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get line. out of here. Sure Actually, take drink. me to the pole position. Drinks. Yeah, dude, the freaking uh, okay, so take the colonel's daughter to the pole position. The um the time to like the 80s, bro. That's what makes this game special. And so many cool things you about this game. You been working for my father? Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> This is probably going to be a shorter game than San Andreas. I do believe it is shorter than San Andreas. San Andreas was pretty short, uh, pretty long. See you around, handsome. Just dropped her off I'm at the sure strip club. Look at the way she walks. <laughs> Mission passed. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, bro. This game was too legit. This game is way too legit. All right, this is the radio here. I hope you Nobody all likes the word Smith. Let's get to the records. Next up, we have an American act for you. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, I think we got to go to the L, man. It's been so long. Like almost 20 years or something like that. All right, I think here we go. Right over here. This is the, uh, the lawyer's place again, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go back over here. My hump's so bad, even I can't. Back alley brawl. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Let me tell you, honestly, 30 frames is not that bad. I mean, we do look kind of square and big, but... <laughs> All right, go to the Bollywood Club and, uh, club and find Ken. Okay, uh, Paul, Mr. Paul. What is going on with these two twin geriatrics? Oh, we're a little tired, but I'm not tired enough to beat your ass. Oh, shit, now I got the cops. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, I'm new in town. I was just trying to caress the geriatrics. Mr. Grayshaw, how do we stop people running amok in the city with machine guns and heavy artillery? Machine guns? give a man a chance. Prisons are overflowing with wasted One potential. thing that I've always Make loved about this game was just the, the, the vibrant colors. Themselves. It was always sunny how, and, how on earth do you, do that? you know, obviously there's nighttime and it rains and stuff, but just, just the beach you vibe. It feels very hours. tropical the whole Great. time, and that's what that's makes it special. Black. Alongside with everything else, you know. All right, here we go. We're at the Malibu. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Trucks, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Ocean Drive is a real spot, by yeah, the way. That's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? There was like no, nobody in that club. <laughs> I'm gonna find the chef at the, at the Ocean Drive. If you noticed, there was nobody at the club. <laughs> Not true. 
Only 23 people have died, okay. and several of them probably See if we can take this. I remember well, taking this. With people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they yes, supposed sir. to respect each other? Do there was health up here as well. And how are they policed yep. by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Oh. Thank you. But my solution is easy. I'm going to talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people yeah, will forget we all are here. Oh, we Everything people, is so I close. Great haircut, and then under oh, I remember hey, this what part. you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Uh, you what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I will kick your ass. <laughs> Alright, pick up the cell phone. Required. You can now receive phone calls. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it. We two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. Oh, yeah. This way. Okay, so hold the RB button to auto target. You don't have to die. Oh, shoot. Hold on. <laughs> the controls are so weird. I only got 10 bullets left, too. One thing you got to realize about this town, you got to pack some heat. A local gun shop is a couple of blocks away. Okay, local gun shop. Okay, follow the gun bleep on the map of the ammunition. Some things just never change in this game. Oh, this is fucking sick, dude. Right around the corner. Dude, this music is dope. You can literally look up like Vice City track list and it'll have like a bunch of, just a bunch of bangers. Send in the pink mark to view the weapons on the off. Okay. And you can select weapons by pressing left or right in the direction of the pad. If you have enough cash, you can buy weapons by pressing A on the button. Okay. Let's go over here before the popo. Press A button to, uh, to buy to exit. I don't. I don't have enough money, bro. Got a hundred bucks. Okay. I guess that's it. We just bought ammo. All right. Figure out how to swap weapons. Like, take my fist out. I'm Michelle Montanius. And I'm John. We go through here. Public radio is very important. You may have no, heard my recent hour-long story about my hike in the park. That was fascinating and very important for everyone, even the blind. Play a selection, Jonathan. Jesus Christ. All right, let's head in through here. I think this is the park. I think we got to go all the way back over there. I almost felt like I was Everything there. is super you close here. I love it. Nauseating detail on commercial radio. VCPR is 100% commercial. I know I've been playing these games backwards. Like we started off at five and then four, then San Andreas and now three. Should have probably done it the other way around, but fuck it. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Oh my god. I can't believe him. There we go, 200 bucks. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm gonna go in here real quick. Ocean view, I'm gonna save the game just in case this shit crashes. In the beginning. Perfecto. Okay, we're gonna go back to the lawyer now. Ah, oh, look at the lighting too, huh? That's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's fucking awesome. This is exactly how it is at the beach, dude. It's freaking hilarious. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. Gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. 
Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. <laughs> hey, look at what I'm here. You sound kind of different. Let's back over, head back over here. Oh shit! Everyone in this game is literally in swimsuits, bikinis, uh, shorts, and fucking shirtless. The entire, the entire NPC list is dressed like that. Another reason why you should love this game. And all of these vehicles are still here. What the hell is going on? Oh, whoosh. oh my god! I thought I had my fist. Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. No! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? The hammer would be useful. <laughs> Dumb Florida moron. Oh god, how do I change uh hey you can follow the hammer bleep on the radar if you want to buy melee weapons from the hardware store. Oh, when you're born you're not wearing any clothes. When you die, you're not wearing um, any clothes. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. What if you die at work? Actually, I don't think what if an enormous Let me see my map. Where's my map? Alright, so we're all the way over here. The target is the square. So we gotta go to the square and What's the other one? We're here. Okay, let's resume. We're naked. There'd be no war. Everyone's going to the square. Crime and the theft of cars in the city. No one's ever stolen my. I don't think I should buy a melee weapon right now. I don't really think I need it. That's because you're a degenerate loony. If the police were naked, it would set a great example to everyone. You can direct traffic and eat donuts entirely in the pub. I can go in through here. I think. Man, this dude runs fast. Holy crap. Okay, how do I change, uh... I forgot how to change, uh... There we go. It's the triggers. Okay, that makes sense. Remember, a little shit guilty is a dirty word. <laughs> so stupid. I gotta follow him. Hold on. Where do you, where do you, wait, what, where do you go? Okay, we're gonna have to go now. Sir, I'm gonna, let me borrow your car. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I changed my mind. Lady, you can have your car back. Okay. Especially people with a hammer is just a hobby of mine. Please don't pay me any attention. I fucking love this. This is gonna be such a fun series. I don't know. It's a really old game, so I, I hope you guys uh hope you guys are into it. I would really, really love to make daily videos on this. Don't mind me. I'm just uh standing on my scooter. there oh shit fuck oh dude damn it i lost a lot of health okay so you can smash cars up here we go <laughs> press lt uh second throw available weapons don't worry i'll keep my car i mean i'll keep my hammer i'll smash this man's vehicle i probably could use my weapon just to blow it up faster believe this is happening not guilty understand good <laughs> bro these fishes are so chill man
I mean, it's gonna get harder, obviously, but they're so chill. All right, let's go back to my lord and see what he wants. Now they're back. Look at them skating. Isn't that awesome? There's people skating and wearing bikinis and shit. <clears throat> I forgot how small this map was. When I was younger, I thought it was like, oh my god. Like, my dream was always as a child, like, to have an open world game like Grand Theft Auto with really good graphics. And of course, that happened eventually. We've had multiple games that are open world with really good graphics. But it's just crazy to see how far gaming has come since, since then. There we go. Hey, Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worried, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Hey, pretty thing, or I'll show you. All right. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what can I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. I love how there's like dialogue in between loadings. All right, go get some new threads of Raphael's clothes again. Jesus. All right, so we're gonna go get some new threads. Apparently what I had was not good enough. There we go. Gonna get the heck out of here and don't mind me as I'm roaming through the streets of Miami. Oh, for the kids in America. Oh, oh dude, fucking awesome, dude. Let's go. Okay, shut up. Not to get serious. I see what new threads we come up with. Oh shit, street kid. No, actually, oh, oh fuck. Damn it. Looking clean, bro. No, not, not really. Come I'm here just and sit on my knee. being sarcastic. <laughs> what the fuck? That cop just told that kid, come here and sit on my knees. That was Kim Wilde from England. What a talented and flexible woman she is. Bandex. All right, we're gonna go up this little bridge right here. And I'm gonna turn right over here. All right, guys. A riot. Start fighting with at least four workers. Come here, dumbass. Oh, I've got a hammer. I can just, I can just use the hammer to beat your ass. My name is Tom and I'm here looking for trouble. Oh shit, destroy the vans in the compound. Okay, so while targeting you can... Oh freaking hell. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on! I'm gonna go around. I 
the back part. This is a strong ass freaking hammer. Maybe I should hold on. There we go. I don't know why that barrel didn't blow this one up. Probably should use my fucking gun for this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's work smart, not hard. Mission pass a thousand dollars, bro. Let's freaking go. My name is fucking Tommy. You can now take jobs from Avery Carrington. All right, so we can actually we're gonna head over to our spot and we're gonna save the game away. So coveralls outfits delivered to tool up in the North Paint Mall. Okay, let's turn in here. Let's do one more mission. We we can do one more mission here. I think we'll be a okay. I like the moped because it makes the most uh, noise or you know at least the most distraction for the music in the background not to be heard by YouTube's algorithm or whatever at least that's what I'm attempting to do here because there is better vehicles in this game <laughs> I promise oh shit all right here we are oh another car hola is this Mr. Versetti yeah uh, this is Cortez you were at my party yeah I remember uh, Mr. Versetti it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor. New contact point open at the marina in Ocean Take a Beach. Chill pill. Sigue caminando. Yeah, sigue caminando, okay? Do monga. Here we go. Oh, we got another phone call. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Uh. Oh, you're gonna have to wait, pal. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. This guy lives on a Please freaking see. yacht. <laughs> Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem That's appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. All right. Go and kill Gonzalez. Shit. Okay, well, we got a freaking chainsaw now. And we also have... Hold on. Hold on. We got a nice little weapon here. More ammo. Yeah, I forgot that in this game, you couldn't, like, mantle over stuff. I think. I don't remember. I, I think that that was introduced in San Andreas. Well, we've got some health here as well, which I'm gonna need this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go, guys. Off to Gonzalez's penthouse. Oh, that old lady just crashed. You must decide that for yourself. And these games are so much better when you have on music. It's crazy. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, we're going fast now, boys. Hold on. It's gonna get crazy. If I crash. Oof. I think this is his penthouse right here, right across the bridge. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> Forget about this. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Jesus.
You, me, it's gonna be beautiful, man. Guys, what's what's going on here, huh? Everything is slow now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, every, yeah. Let me just go inside. They call me vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, it's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Yes. I will cut you off. Yes. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I've wasted my life and my looks. Stand still and I'll make it quick. Stand still, damn it. I'll pay you double, dummy. Double. Your squealing. Yep, that's it. The Vice City Police are on to you. Well, luckily for us, I'm pretty sure I found a police star here. Yep. Yeah, if you just picked up a police star, this will reduce your wanted level. Oh, it's only one wanted level. Well, one is better than two. That's for sure. Get to the pay and spray and vice point. Holy crap! Oh! Oh god! You guys see why this game is awesome? Okay. Well, now I'm stuck inside a bush. I spoke too soon. Mission passed. Oh, really? Okay. What is this here? Oh, a meat cleaver. Um, let me see. What do I have? Yeah, I do not want to replace my chainsaw with that. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to go back to our spot. We're going to save the game. It's been a great day today in the world of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I really hope that the next Grand Theft Auto has something to do with, like, the 80s, bro. It's just so sick. Such a sick, like, time. All right, let me go here and see what happens to my clothes. Get rid of this freaking shit. When a clothes picker was collected, a one star or two star will be cleared. All right, I think we're here. I'm going to save the game. And there we go. All right, so guys, we're going to end it here. This has been the first episode of GTA Vice City. I wanted to do kind of like a one-off, but I'm really open to doing a full series. If you guys want it, let me know in the comments. This is one of my all-time favorite GTAs. Actually, it's my favorite GTA. And um, it was fun, dude. This feels so good being able to relive these memories. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll catch you later.